I was um, I was a little um, hesitant about this model. I really didn't know what it was going to sound like. Uh, we ordered it, and uh, it came in, and it's wonderful. It, it's kind of made a believer out of me here. Um, one of the things that really struck me about this guitar, and hopefully the playing that I did kind of brought that out, is this is a wonderful strumming guitar, as you would expect out of a Grand Symphony. Um, but uh, I was really kind of blown away by its tone when you pulled off of it, you know, when you played it really lightly. A lot of times a bigger guitar will get a little bit uh, uh, thin and you don't hear it so much, but uh, the notes really pop off this even as you're playing it uh, at low volumes. It's a very articulate voice, but it has a lot of volume too. The uh, nuts and bolts of this, uh, East Indian Rosewood, back and sides, has the Lutz Spruce top, and the Silent Satin finish, which is uh, really a cool thing. And then, it wouldn't be a tailor if it didn't have some stunning ebony, and uh, this one does. It has the ebony uh, sound port right here, the ebony pickguard, uh, beautiful striped ebony fingerboard, as you can see the headstock, goto tuners, um, oh, curved wing bridge, which you'll see in all of the builder's editions. And this is a 24.9 uh, 24 inch scale, so it is a short scale, which means those little stretches that you might do, something like that, boy, it's just, it's just easier to hit. And uh, it really pops the tone. I mean, everything on this guitar works really nicely and I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by it. Um, I, I've found it to be inspirational to me whenever I'm playing it and uh, it's uh, beautiful to boot. Mm -hmm. 